Recently, the Virginia men's basketball team officially announced that Jordan Minor, Andrew Rohde, and Jacob Groves have transferred to UVA for next season. Overall, their commitments are critical for next year's team, and all three of them will certainly play a pivotal role for the Cavaliers this upcoming season. First, Jordan Minor is a 6'8 graduate transfer from Merrimack College in the Northeast Conference. In his four seasons playing forward at Merrimack, Minor made the NEC All-Conference team three times. This past season, Minor averaged 17.4 points per game, 9.4 rebounds per game, and 2.6 blocks per game. As a result, he was named 2022-23 NEC Player of the Year, and he was also named NEC Defensive Player of the Year. He also helped Merrimack capture the NEC regular season and tournament championship, despite not being eligible to make the NCAA tournament. Overall, the addition of Minor is massive for UVA's front court. His presence will certainly help Virginia's rebounding, which was a major weakness for UVA last year. He also will be able to score in the paint for Virginia, which was another weakness for the Hoos. Meanwhile, the Cavaliers also made a major upgrade in their backcourt, bringing in foot six guard Andrew Rohde from the University of St. Thomas in Minnesota. As a freshman last year for the Tommies, Rohde averaged over 17 points per game, shooting nearly 45% from the floor. For his efforts, he was named First Team All-Summit and was recognized as the Summit League Conference Rookie of the Year. Overall, Cavalier fans can expect Rohde to bring playmaking and size to Virginia's backcourt, which have both been a weakness for UVA in recent years. Rohde also should be able to hit outside shots for the Cavaliers. Even though he only shot 32% from three last season, he shot the ball much better at the end of the season and certainly has the ability to shoot the ball well from the outside. Finally, the Hoos are adding Jacob Groves, a 6'9 graduate transfer from Oklahoma. Last season for the Sooners, Groves started 22 of 32 games, averaging 6.8 points per game and shooting 38% from the three-point line. The best season of Groves' career came in 2021 playing for Eastern Washington. That season, Groves averaged just over 9 points and 4 rebounds per game, shooting 55% from the floor. Overall, Virginia fans can expect Groves to bring a veteran presence to the bench and should help Virginia shoot the ball better from the outside. Now the big question is will UVA make any more moves in the transfer portal? My hunch is that the answer is no, given that the Hoos have already added three transfers. However, things could change if Reese Beatman doesn't come back and Tony Bennett could still decide to bring in one more recruit for next season, especially in the front court. Nevertheless, the additions of Miner, Rohde, and Groves are huge for the Cavaliers and should help UVA compete for another ACC championship next season. I'm Duncan McGrath, WVA.